Hi, and welcome to Adobe Absolute Beginners, Adobe Illustrator CC. My name is Wes Holing, and I'm going to be showing you some of the basic tools and tips for how to use Adobe Illustrator CC. Next, I'd like to talk about color and stroke, or particularly the fill and the stroke. So the fill is the color within an object. In this case, both the square and the circle on the screen are filled with black. And the stroke is the the color on the border, on the edge of the object. In this case, there is no stroke. And the reason I know this is that over here on the left, I can see the fill is black, and the stroke has a line through it. There's no stroke applied. If I select any of these objects, you can see on the left, it doesn't change. These same properties uh, are consistent across both objects. Now, if I want to change that, it's very easy to do. I just select it with the uh, selection tool up here at the top. I click the, the rectangle, excuse me, the square. And I can do one of many things to change the color. I can double click on the fill to get a familiar color picker, as you've probably seen through any Windows application. Mac has something very similar. I'll cancel this. I can show you on the, on the right side here, there's also color options if I want to get a particular uh, hexadecimal code, if I have something I'm trying to match for the web, if I have specific red, green, and blue values. I can change this to uh, CMYK if this is for, for, uh, for print by just choosing the little uh, menu at the upper right of that of that color option uh, to, that brings up the flyout uh, hue saturation and brightness. I have many color options, which is uh, really what you want in a high-end tool like like Illustrator. And lastly, which is very easy, over here on the right is also the swatches panel. This is very handy for getting some uh, basic or uh, or basic colors or colors that you've chosen already that you can store here for later use. So while I still have the the square selected. I'm just going to make it a very basic RGB red. This is the, the pure red, and I can apply it by clicking that. Now my square is red. The same I can do for the circle by clicking it and then choosing another color. Let's make that one blue. Now if I want to apply a stroke to either of these, it's also very easy to do, and this is a very common mistake in that I make this almost every time I use Illustrator. I think I've selected either the fill and I want the stroke, or I want the stroke and I've already selected the fill. It, it happens every time. Uh, and the way, you, the, the way you overcome that, of course, is just by clicking Stroke here. And you can see that it, it comes to the foreground once I've clicked it, and I can choose the color for the stroke in the exact same way I chose it for the fill. So I'm going to come back to my Swatches panel, and I'll give it a green stroke. And this will be very faint because it's only one point, uh, one point in width. The, reason, the way I can change the width is over here on, of course, the Stroke panel. By clicking that, you can see that the, the width is one point. And if I increase that, and if you look at the at the, the circle, you can see that the, the stroke is becoming much more apparent. I'm now at 13 points. If I move it all the way, let's go crazy and go up to 20. Now it's a very thick uh, stroke around that circle. And the same I can do for the square. If I click that, over here you can see no stroke applied. I do the same thing all over again. Let's choose it from the menu, and I'll go back to blue for my stroke. Again, very faint from the stroke panel choose it from 1, and I can enter in a specific value if I want to. If I want a 40 point, that's going to be huge, and sure enough it is. It's very obvious. But you can make it as subtle or as thick as you want. 